Beatrice. Hi. 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 Give those folks out there a big cute hello. Hello, eh? Hello, eh? <laughs> She's Canadian. <laughs> or in Utah. Just say hello. hello. There you go. Can I ask you a question? Do you think you're pretty? <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to hear her sing? Say yeah. yeah. We're going to sing a song for you called Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Oh, What a Beautiful Day. You don't need to know the words. You start out, I'll join you. Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Oh, what a Everything's going. Bye, bye. Yeah. 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 There you go. Make a little noise, guys. Oh. How about one more song? One more? Yeah. Oh, scream. Say yeah. yeah. Okay. We're going to sing our favorite. Give you a little bit of an education. You're going to want to hear this. It's called Why You Fools Fall in Love, the song. It's from 1956. Oh. Old song. Old song. But for parents, talking's emotional. They're not like us human beings. We just talk for sport and say whatever. They only talk when they're excited and happy. They will not talk if they're depressed. She, if she's singing, talking, you know she's in a good mood. They also only pick up words they like, disregard words they don't like. The word has to physically turn them on and mentally turn them on. It makes them excited. So this song she heard, it's about 15 years ago, it was on the radio, and all of a sudden, about two or three days later, I'm here singing bits and pieces of this song. I'm going, she loves that song. For you guys who don't know the song, and, and I don't expect you to, it sounds like this. Listen. It it's an old song. It's almost 60 years old. You guys remember this song? Some of you guys, you'll hear it. Let's see if I can shut this thing up. You. <laughs> Song. Now she and I are gonna sing the first part together. I'll sing the middle part. She'll sing the ending. Give you some of her credentials. She's the only parent to, to this day to ever perform before the Queen of England. And the reason why we got that kind of that job is we were on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. That, that's that's a long time ago. She was the very first parrot to ever professional parrot to sing on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. And when the Queen seen her sing. I'm going to make this story real short. We went all over to England to sing and do this in front of the queen. And the reason why she had us there, she didn't think the bird was really singing. She thought the bird was a fake and I was a ventriloquist. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's a God's, God's truth. So that's, that's a, and I think that's the reason why to this day, she, maybe she doesn't like parrots, but she thought I was a fraud. Anyway, not a fraud. Anyway, uh, she's been on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno multiple times. Jimmy Kimmel, um, who else? David Letterman, you name it. She does everything. Um, most recently, well, last year, she got me on America's Got Talent through the YouTube section of the show, beat out about a hundred million, I mean, a hundred, about a million different acts, actually, and we sung this song. It's called, Why Do Fools Fall In Love? She and I sing the first part together, I'll sing the middle, she'll sing the ending. This is a great crowd. we got to warm your voice up for them, okay? Warm it up! Higher than air! She's ready. <laughs> listen, listen to the word love. Watch, don't make any noise yet. Listen to the word love at the end. Why do birds... And lovers await the break of day. That's how it's done. Make some noise, guys. Come on. What time is it? No, not daytime. What time? T-shirt time? I have to ask you guys one question. Are you guys ready to party? Yeah. 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 Party music! Everyone stand up on your toes! Don't sit down! Stand up! Hands up here like this! Come on guys! Everyone! Come on guys! You're out there! Let's have some fun! We're gonna be the most fun yet all day! Come on! Everyone just dance your family! Come on! Use your feet! Don't slow down! Second. 
Is that more exercise than some of you guys done in a while? <laughs> I'm huffing and puffing. Whoever I pick, stand up, scream, come up on stage, and I'm gonna give this to you. I'm trying to buy, I'm buying time right now because I have like three people in my mind. Hey. They did it. Hey. Now we go. The girl with the trophy in her hand, right there, you. Come on down. Now I'm gonna tell you something. You you would have you would have won, but you didn't do anything at the end. You 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 died on me. Come on down. Sorry. Oh. How are you doing? What's your first name? Jasmine. Jasmine, where's your voice at? <laughs> Gone, right? Shot. You know why I bring people on stage? I do I, I do this like when I used to, when I opened for J Lo for years, I get to 1,500 people doing this. I had one time, I, um, I used to just go like this. Here, you're the winner, right? And I got this nasty letter in the, in the mail from this woman uh, that they just got married that day. They got married that day, and they came to see Jay Leno and see my show, and they thought it, the show was great and everything, but that I made a big mistake, and I should have let her husband want he, he made more noise than anybody else, and he had no voice left, and I ruined their honeymoon. <laughs> now the screaming happened earlier. No. Anyway, um, so what I do now is I bring the person up on stage, like I'm doing you right now. I'm explaining this because I'm going to show them why I picked you. Okay? This is going to go on. You're going to put, put your sleeves in there. There you go. Now here's what we're going to do. Okay? We're going to put some music on. No. Oh, yeah. I know other people that want to wear this shirt. <laughs> we're going to put some music on. Center stage. Wake up. Be alive, be strong, come on. We're gonna put some music on and you're gonna dance for like 15 seconds. That's like nothing. That's like nothing, okay? Just blank it out. These guys are all your friends, okay? You're the winner. You're the captain of the ship now. You're gonna take over. And they're gonna cheer you, they're gonna cheer you on. You know why they're gonna cheer you on? Because they're super happy I didn't pick them now. <laughs> some still would like to come up here. So we'll put some music on. And just, you ever dance in front of your mirror or do anything? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, you're a kid. I know you do. Be serious. You know you're dancing all the time. Okay, we're going to put some music on. You're going to dance. They're going to cheer you on. You're not going to let me down, right? Right? Say yes. That's not... I need positive things coming out of your mouth. Okay, say yes. There you go. Okay. On one, when I count you guys down, we're going to put some... You guys say music maestro. Everyone as loud as you can. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Music maestro. Good song. I know you Come on, look at this. Just dance. You can hip. Get your hand. Keep, don't think about it. Just keep going. Come on. Let's go. Your screaming is a lot better than your dancing, that's for God's sake. But you're having fun, right? All right, let's give her a big hand. Say, I'm the queen of the world, say it. I'm the queen of the world. There you go, give her a big hand. Watch your step. No voice left, shot. Can't dance at all either. <laughs> the grandpa last show? He could shake it, man. He looked like a like an old Chippendale. <laughs> is he here? By chance, his name is Preston. <laughs> anyway, um, how many people? Anyone see me on America's Got Talent by chance, by luck, whatever? Okay. For you guys that didn't see it, I never used to watch a show. My son submitted me through the YouTube part of the competition. I did a stunt on there considered the greatest stunt animal or human. I had a bird that free fell off of a tower. This is in New York, off of a tower that was 150 feet high. Came down to about 20, about 20 feet, opens her wings up. We do this in Las Vegas nightly. Came across the street through the finest performing arts is 600 feet away. 600, that's two football fields. Anyway, into the performing arts theater, through the lobby, over uh, through three doors, through over 4,000 people in, over the judges' heads, standing ovation to find me on stage. One of a kind stunt, we do it in Las Vegas. It's a very expensive stunt to do. It takes a lot of cameras. Do you want to meet her? Yeah! We value that. Unfortunately, we don't get to do a lot of flying. I can't release her from a million miles away, but we normally would. But anyway, it's, it's fun. She's valued at $250,000. We're going to do a little partying with her, then she'll do some flying. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Some party music, would you? And we'll get those hands up over here. Once again, like this. Get into it. Get started. Come on, start. Keep that beat. Look at him. Let's keep that beat. Oh, boy. Are you ready, Pete? They want to meet you. Come on, say you good.
to that one. Because <laughs> I'll kill that damn thing. <laughs> That's good enough, Kitty. Don't worry. They got the point. I'm going to go in the audience. Hit two volunteers. We're going to fly so low. Not me, actually. Her. We're going to hit some of you in the head. Are you guys ready? Oh, God. All right. Let me go to my left. How about... Yeah, you in the white. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah.